Hello and welcome to this Mac tutorial. Having purchased your Snappy Forms and downloading it, it's time to open the zip archive. Click on Finder and most likely you will locate your, the file that you just downloaded in your downloads directory. Right click and use Open with Archive Utility. And it's here it opened up right on the downloads folder depending on which file you wish to use we have various versions for Microsoft Word these are the Microsoft Word form help files and the interactive PDF form help files and here we have the interactive PDF form for use with please pay attention Adobe Reader it is only compatible with Adobe Reader. So our next logical step is to obtain Adobe Reader if you haven't gotten it already. Download Adobe Reader for Mac. Make sure you're getting it off the adobe.com website and click download now. Then click next. You do not have to click on any of the advertisements. In fact, the file just downloaded. We'll click Finder again, and it's here. Let's install it. We double click, okay? And it's opening Adobe Reader DC version. Okay. We click again, and we're now in the process of installing the software. Once Adobe Reader has been installed, we can close the box. Now you may go to Applications. And here we have Adobe Acrobat Reader DC. Double click, agree. I'll be closing the tour. Once Reader has opened, depending on where you save your document, we'll go ahead and click My Computer, Browse, we'll go to Download, we'll go to the folder, 0035, and the Interactive PDF form is located inside the Interactive PDF form for use with Adobe Reader folder and here it is 345 open okay we'll check the form the form options menu seems to be working properly okay and your form is ready to be customized or personalized and I wish to remind everyone, and please pay attention, you should not open any of Snappy Forms using Preview. Just opening the form using Preview could damage the file. Thank you for watching, and I hope this video has been helpful to you.